So splitting cells is easy. In fact, it's really easy. But often planning to split cells can be a whole other ballgame. So for instance, what if you have your cells in a 10 centimeter dish and you want to do a 1 to 6 split into a 15 centimeter dish? Or what if you have your cells in a 15 centimeter dish and you want to go 1 to 8 into a 6 well dish? Well, this is where it gets a little ugly. Now, to avoid that painful moment when you walk into the tissue culture room, look at your cells under the microscope, and realize that you've actually split them 1 to 100 instead of 1 to 10, we're going to talk about the key to getting cell splitting right, and that is surface area. Now, when talking about splitting cells, you're really talking about density or confluence of the cells. So you're thinking of how many cells are there over a given surface area of the dish. So before you even get started splitting cells, the first thing you need to analyze is what is the current density of the cells? What's the current confluence? So for the sake of this example, let's say the current confluence is 60%, meaning that 60% of the dish is covered by cells. And for your experiment, you need these to be at 10%. So your target is 10% confluence. This is a six-fold reduction in the density of the cells, and therefore it would be called a one to six split. Now this would normally be written like this, but for the sake of this demonstration and the math, we're gonna write it as a one to six split. The next thing to think about is, what is the size of the dish the cells are currently in, and what's the size of the dish that you're gonna put them in? So in this example, let's say we're going to start with our cells in a 10 centimeter dish. All right, now a 10 centimeter dish has a surface area that cells can grow on equal to 55 centimeters squared. Now let's say we wanted to split from our 10 centimeter dish to a larger dish like a 15 centimeter. In this case, the 15 centimeter dish has a growth area of 148 centimeters squared. And so by keeping the same number of cells, if we transferred all the cells from our 10 centimeter to our 15 centimeter, we'd effectively get a 1 to 3 split. Okay, so to this point, we keep in mind that confluence or density is simply a ratio of the number of cells to the surface area. And we just said that the surface area alone in our example gave us a 1 to 3 split going from the 10 centimeter to the 15 centimeter. So this component of the equation, this 1 to 3, is primarily the surface area. And we have to remember that our ultimate goal is to get to a 1 to 6 split going from 60% confluence down to 10% confluence. So that means that the missing component here is a 1 to 2 split that has to come from the other part of this equation, the number of cells. All right, so how would this actually look in the lab when you're sitting in the hood with your 10 centimeter dish of cells? What do you do? Well, let's think about it. We have our 10 centimeter dish of cells and it's at 60% confluence. And we're trying to go to our 15 centimeter with a goal of 10% confluence. Now we just said that we need to take a 1 to 2 split on the number of cells here. That means we need half the cells in this dish to go into the 15 centimeter to get our 1 to 6 split. So the easiest way to do this is to resuspend, trypsinize your cells in one mil and then quench your trypsin with nine mils of your growth media. This gives you a total of ten mils of cells. 
So if we have 10 mils of a cell suspension and we need to do a 1 to 2 split, that means we're going to take 5 mils or half of our cell suspension and add it to the 15 centimeter.